Hello everyone, welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. So I found something rather stupid. 23 divisions assigned to this right here. It's like there's nothing there, and they're all assigned there. It's like, come on guys. So we're just gonna stop that. You guys just need to just, just stop. No, all gone. Just, you know what, just head back this way. Just head back this way. So what's going on on your end? Well, I am uh, just making sure all my fighters are transferring correctly. That would be why the game has paused. Indeed. <laughs> uh, and then I'm sending my paratroopers up. And hopefully we will have another successful paradrop. If not, well, they did good. Well, we're doing what we can. And honestly, there's not much more. Yeah. About as much as can be expected. I actually argue at this point we've pretty much won the game. Yeah, and China's also... China's on the run, the UK's capitulated, the United States is next, but by the time we invade the US we'll have nukes. We'll yep. just nuke them, and then that'll make it far easier. Yep. Yeah, we already have in India. For them to win, if this was a multiplayer game and you looked at it like that, they'd have to beat the Soviet Union, the French Commune, the Italian Union, Republic of Spain, and the Japanese People's Republic. All to beat our side. And right. that's, I mean, the only person they forced to capitulate is the People's Republic of China, but that's coming back. Right. It's like, it, it's growing kind of in that that stereotypical video game way where like fire engulfs the thing it was currently in or yeah. something. That's what's happening right now, is this fire's engulfing China, and the PCR, PRC is going to be born of it. By the way, I'm importing more steel from you. Thanks. I have plenty. I don't know where I get it from, but I have plenty. I produce 672, but I still have to import another 96. What's your trade focus? Uh, limited exports. Yeah, weird. Mine's export focus. And I'm doing... Well, I think I just have access to more. What do you produce things? for steel? Oh, that's why, because I have the UK. If you look at the UK, I got plenty of steel there. Plus, uh, Western Germany. Like, there's one province that's just 100 steel. <laughs> Another one right below it is 236. Yeah. There we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten? I want to say that's ten. Improved rocket engines. We'll get. Let's see how much each of us has contributed to this war effort. I've contributed thirty-six percent. You've contributed thirty-two percent. Well, look at the, the the casualties. That helps. That's true. That helps a, a pretty big way. Alright. Still, even if I haven't technically contributed as much, we've both contributed so much that it, we're, we should be fine. Yeah. Oh wow, you've lost like twice as many men as I have. And you've lost, you know, 30, 40 divisions. Occupational hazard. Yeah, no kidding. I'm para dropping into Stockholm. Good. That'll speed things up. And it'll give you more percentage participation bonus. <laughs> 
Except you're not, not going to take though. it. You're not going to win at all. They were waiting. Unfortunately, this whole That's area is there. really heavily defended. I was never imagining this level of resistance when I first declared war on these guys. It's unreal. Come on, Soviets. Join in the war effort. We can break through. We can push to Oslo if you help. <laughs> Come on, Soviets. We're right there. Oh, my goodness. I retook my little piece of China. Yeah? Well, that's good. Oh, thanks, China. Giving me man name. Oh, they're giving you. <laughs> I'm down for that. They're giving you land. Oh, goodness. Well, to be fair, I have helped them quite a bit. What is going on? I'm just, like, automatically giving you land that I take. This is really sweet of you. Like, I don't even want to, but you have a whole butt ton of India now. I'm not. I didn't ask for it. I, I didn't know. Want it. Oh, I know you didn't <laughs> ask for it. I would have been content with like, you know, Burma, <laughs> maybe East Bengal and Assam. There, mine. <laughs> oh. Poor Iran. Iran did all the work. No, they didn't. <laughs> 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 no, they did not do all the work. <laughs> it was in okay. fact my troops <laughs> I'm going to give you back these two pieces oh. I'm going to keep southern India though probably going to grab it in the uh, peace conference too well, I clicked accept there That's we go me a little bit. What, what is this what is this thing Iran controls this location. Well, the they want bit. luck now back. They helped build the city, you know, like about like 500 years ago. <laughs> I guess they could have that. <laughs> Whatever. My favorite is China just gave me a piece of their territory. Like they're just like, "Hey, good on you." <laughs> Yeah, thanks for helping. Here's uh, some territory. It connects to Guangzhou Wan, so you should have it. Yeah, I guess. I wonder if they'll get me Hainan. Maybe. I wouldn't mind that. It's very strategic being so close to Indochina. I love how there's like 50 Soviet divisions just hanging out in Japan. Yeah. It's like they. It's not, it's not like they could take the whole island or anything, you know? Right. It's not like they could just walk in. Are you considering doing a, a small invasion of the Philippines? Nah. Philippines nah. isn't consequential. Fair enough. And with the British gone, I'm not as worried about invasions. No. It seemed the British were the ones who loved to do that. Yeah. As frustrating as it is, yeah. That's very true. Can I just take this land, please? Like, it's not even difficult. Not even difficult. Just take the land. Well, my men died to help you take Stockholm. So, that pretty much gave me a sour taste in my mouth about this war in Sweden. Oh, yeah. No, that's... I was never expecting a direct attack on Stockholm. Like, I, I was not expecting it to, to work at all. I should have sent in a naval invasion at the same time. I don't know why this is stupid. Hmm. Well, I can't do a naval invasion because we don't have a navy up there. I can move one up there. No, I should have enough spare boats banging around somewhere. Grab you guys. We'll 
We'll set you up. Uh, we'll start you right there. Everybody just go there. I'll slap some boats in there and we'll see what happens. Wow, where am I getting all these factories? Holy crap. I still need infantry equipment. Well... I don't know how that feels. Yeah? Here, let's start number six of producing infantry equipment. Three. Oi. I bet I'll have to start importing steel again. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, but of course. Oh my goodness. At least I don't have to import tungsten anymore. Holy crap. There's a whole bunch of British ships just kind of hanging around out here, by the way. Like, off our... Off the, uh... The North Sea coast. There's apparently a lot of British ships just hanging around. It's beautiful. So, be wary. <laughs> British are in the area. Of course they are. Not doing good. That's not gonna work. Actually, it might work. Okay, go for it. You guys move this way. We're making a lot of headway in Sweden now. You put aircraft over here, right? Yep. Yeah, we're making a lot of headway now. Now that we have some air superiority. I had seven destroyers. I sunk a battleship and two destroyers, and they got away with seven, uh, seven carriers, battle cruisers, light cruisers. Jeez. All I had was seven destroyers. Hmm. I was not expecting my destroyers to be quite that powerful. But I guess they're all right. We got MK ones. Let's go with. Do you know what ASW is? Anti sub warfare. Yeah, it's anti submarine warfare. Okay. All right. All right. I upgraded my destroyers, so they should be doing better. Yay, we took the lake. <laughs> it's about time. That's like a major coup in itself. A coup? <laughs> Taking the lake? Coups? Coups, coups, a coup. <laughs> Speaking of coups, your coup. Check out the US at 50%. Yeah, communism. 9th of October. Communism is everywhere in the United States, and it looks like you'll be able to supply infantry equipment. Yeah, I've been focusing on it. Cool. Very cool. I hope Mexico flips to communist and joins the war when the coup happens. We just have to get them to 70%, and it'll be a massive revolution. Yep. It should not be that difficult to do at this point. Oh, look at the Brazilians, too. Yeah, they're close. And the Portuguese are getting there. Let's see. Oh. What's going on? Something's happening somewhere. I don't know what, but it's something. Alright, let's get a search and destroy. 
destroy. No, I guess you should sit there and repair. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. You know what? Let's just say your naval base. Naval invasion in Scotland. Or Northern Ireland, okay. Either way, you're going to have to defend the British Isles because the Americans will probably want to invade. That's not true. Okay, I took Stockholm. Sweden is... Super, super close. 88% at this point. They are ready to accept communism. Sweden is? Yeah. They're super close to capitulating. I'm also pushing on Oslo. Oh, nice. So. With that, I'm assuming. Pardon? With that, I'm assuming we can focus on, um, uh, China. Yeah, when Norway and Sweden fall, China uh, should be an easy focus. Take them out entirely, and then all we have left is the states. Beautiful. Brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> all the right tears, though. Yes, of course. Only the best tiers. Yes. I'm importing 182 <laughs> fuel or oil from the Soviet Union. Horrific. Well, that's what works. Oh, was it enough though? That is the question. I'm only importing 80 at this point. My fo well, your focus has been on factories. Mine has been on synthetic oil production. Oh. So I've just been producing a ton of oil. I'm actually exporting 60 right now. Not so bad. Let's see. Yep, I'm buying some from you. Cool. It's appreciated. Yeah. Nope, can't quite break through Oslo yet. Close. Close, but no cigar as of yet. Yeah, yeah, there's always a naval invasion of southern India. That is a little different. I'll, I'll give you credit. That's a different play. I don't think it'll get you anywhere, but it's a different play. I'd love to just tell the Portuguese, like, hey, if you join the war, I'll give you all southern India. <laughs> yeah. Bribe them. Right? I'm fine with that. We'll get them in the war. Well, well I said hope. They're close. I actually feel like uh, the Soviet Union is being pushed back in Manchuria. And honestly, they might be at this point. With... We're making progress in the south, I think, but what we really need to do is launch an invasion, just a direct invasion into the Nanjing area. And just take them over entirely. Yeah, that's usually how the Japanese win, is they just launch an invasion, naval invasion. Well, you are producing some marines. It's a possibility. Yeah. Very true. go there's the hit on Oslo we needed there we go mm, boy that's a close battle yep 
You're almost a balloon. So sad to see Sweden, which has risen to such greatness. Oh. Well. It had to happen eventually. Very true. Control the Baltic. What are we fighting in the Baltic? What's out here? Wow. Uh, Swedish Navy is controlling the Baltic pretty thoroughly, actually. Mexico is the communist revolutionaries thing. So soon we'll be able to spread freedom and wisdom to Mexico. Sweet. Hopefully at the end of the year, not at the beginning of the year. Because if they join the war too early, they're just going to get steamrolled. If they're going to get steamrolled, I'd prefer them get steamrolled while we are the ones that are on the other side steamrolling America. Yeah. I'm more than happy if they want to be a distraction, but they need to be a useful distraction. Mm-hmm. Oh, that delicious oil. What's going on over here? Yeah, we're getting screwed. Our Navy is so screwed in here. I need to send more than that, it looks like. That's okay. They have served their purpose. Indeed. And now, my naval invasion should be complete. Please land. Please land. Three hours. Well, it says three hours. Still not at three hours. Please land. You're just sitting there. Oh my goodness. They're just they're just sitting there, they're not doing anything, and the game just keeps ticking by. They might be uh, it's because they're in the Battle of the Baltic Sea. Yup. Submarines. Oh well if they die, they die. It's not the end of the world. But it, it is, is the end of the world. It is the end of the episode though. Yeah. I know. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. The best news for the channel should be on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Thank you to Amphit for being a Patreon supporter. Patreon links in the description down below. And I'll see you all next time with more Hearts of Iron 4. Thanks for watching. And DFTBA.